there's not much that's more exciting than visiting Volcano Bay, which is what many consider to be the world's best water park. But there's so much to see and do, how can you do it all without getting overwhelmed? Don't worry, that's why I'm showing you the top five things you need to do to optimize your time and comfort at Volcano Bay. Some of these are items you'll buy ahead of time and some are actions to take in the park. So sit back, relax, because it's time for Quick Trip Travel Tip. First tip is optimizing Tapu Tapu. Let's get this out of the way because even while I was filming this, I had people asking me how the Tapu Tapu system works. The Tapu Tapu reserves your place in line digitally. That's it. Swipe your Tapu Tapu ban, the one they gave you upon entering the park, at the tap point outside of any major attraction. You can do this for one ride at a time. So if for example it says 65 minutes, that means in 65 minutes from now, you can come back to the ride entrance, swipe your band and ride. If you're like me and you like thrills, the best rides you should do this for are Anu Anu of Iku Moana, Koakiri Body Plunge, and Krakatau Aqua Coaster. You might be asking yourself, okay, great, but how do I spend these 65 minutes? Well, let's say you have 65 minutes of, we'll call it free time. During this free time, you can ride any ride that says ride now. This always includes the Taniwa tubes in the back of the park. Each of these can seat one or two riders. And this always includes Te Awa, the fearless river. By the way, this thing is so much more fun than it looks. It's an action river, not a lazy river. So it has jets and waves. Oh, and life jackets are mandatory here. When your virtual wait is complete, go to the entrance of the ride, swipe your band, and enjoy. Tip number two is pack a bag with the essentials. Your four essentials are going to include snacks, two bottles of water per person, sunscreen, and a towel. If you like to buy lunch and dinner, that's fine, but odds are you're going to get hungry in between. You're not going to want to spend exorbitant amounts of money just for a snack. And regarding water, sure they have free cups, but that takes up precious time you could be using to ride or relax. Also, due to COVID, you really want to minimize any contact with team members and water felons. Lastly, I cannot recommend this next one enough. Buy a lockbox ahead of time. This particular type loops around the frame of your chair and you never need to worry about your valuables being taken. Yes, they sell lockers for $8, but the amount of time you spend getting up and down every time you want your phone or wallet to grab your ID to prove you're 21 to get a drink, it's exhausting. Trust me, I've done it before. Of course, this lockbox is also perfect for the beach and any other water park, so consider it a small investment for a lifetime of use. There's an affiliate link in the description, so be sure to check that out. For the third tip, I'm going to tell you the best place in the park to set up for the day. First though, putting out these videos every week takes up a fair amount of time. If you don't mind hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm, I sure would appreciate it. Tip number three. What a lot of people fail to anticipate is rain. And rest assured, if you are here anytime between March and September, it is going to rain. These umbrellas you see here are really for the sun, not for rain. You want a sturdy structure that you don't have to pay extra for. Where you want to sit is, uh, I can't believe I'm showing you guys my secret spot, so let's cut a deal. If I see you there, you better be saving me a seat. Deal? Deal. Okay, so as you enter the park, make a left and walk towards the back of the park so the volcano is on your right. Pass the drop slides, oh no and oh yeah, and it's the first section on your right. Okay everyone, settle down, it's not that great. Actually it is. See all this structure? That is what you want to protect you from the rain. Additionally, there is no one here! More peace, more space, and it's centrally located. Just remember our deal. Okay, tip number four. This is an easy one. There is a lot of walking to be done in Volcano Bay, and for whatever reason, this concrete will hurt the bottom of your feet. A lot. So wear your flip-flops to whichever ride you plan to ride. At the entrance, they have flip-flop holders. Use them. Then retrieve them when your ride is done. It's that simple. The 
probably wondering how I got all my on-ride shots. I'll give you a hint, it's not with a GoPro. It's with my phone. That's right, tip number five is to purchase a waterproof phone case before your trip. With a waterproof phone case, you may bring your phone on any ride that requires a tube, not on body slides. In addition to on-ride photos and videos, this makes it easier to stay in touch with your party because, let's face it, no one ever wants to do the same attraction at the same time. By now you must be asking, but Ari, where on earth can I get this? You're not going to believe this. There is an affiliate link in the description. Well, that's it. Those are the five greatest tips I have to offer you. If you found this video useful, definitely consider subscribing for more park tips and reviews. Have fun, be well, and see you next time on Quick Trip Travel Tips.